वेलकम टू पवेंस एनवायरमेंट इंजीनियरिंग चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वो आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इंडिया इज ए डेवलपिंग नेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सॉलिड वेस्ट इज वन ऑफ द की एनवायरमेंटल इश्यूज वन कैन नॉट इमेजिन द स्ट्रीट्स विद द सॉलिड वेस्ट अनकलेक्टेड एंड विल बिकम ए ब्रीडिंग ग्राउंड फॉर मेनी डिसीजेस थस फॉर एफेक्टिव मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सॉलिड वेस्ट requires effective planning research and methodology solid waste management involves the waste generation on site handling storage collection transfer and transport processing and recovery and disposal the collection of solid waste requires planning labor and equipment In this video we will get acquainted with one of the types of the collection systems basically the collection system types are divided into two first one hauled container system second one stationary collection system let's get acquainted with hauled container system in this collection system containers used for storage of waste are hauled to the disposal site and return emptied to their original location the vehicles which are used for this particular collection system are of two types tilt frame vehicle and truck tractor vehicle in this video we'll take the tilt frame haul vehicle to get acquainted with the terms related to hauled container system since solid waste management involves cost in collection of waste and transportation of the waste the involved time is also a major factor on which the cost involved can be calculated let's jump into the time calculation of hauled container system as we know hauled container system consists the stage such as collection transportation and disposal of waste each stage has a particular time consuming activity now we if we pay attention here a hauled container truck travels to the container position and pick it up the time required to pick up that container one filled with waste is termed as pick up time termed as pc in short form now the truck travels to the disposal site for dumping let x by 2 be the distance from container one to disposal site thus the round trip distance that is from container 1 to disposal site and from disposal site to container 1 is x the waste truck may spend some time at disposal site waiting in line to dump the waste and it also takes some time to dump the waste this total time involved at the site is termed as at site time and is denoted as s after dumping the truck returns to place the container one in its original position the time taken to place container one in its original location after coming to it is termed as unloading the container time required and is denoted as uc now if there are more than one waste containers truck travels to next container in this case the container 2 to pick up the waste thus the average time taken for the truck to travel between different containers is termed as dbc that is average time required to travel between the containers thus if we look at it the terms pc that is picking up the waste uc that is unloading the waste 
and BBC that is the average time required to travel between the containers will all come under and fall under the category of pickup which is termed as P subscript HCS. Now if we take a look at the x distance covered by the trip covered by the truck we can calculate the time required for hauling the waste which is a plus bx where a and b are the constants which depend upon the speed limit of the truck and x you know as you already it is the round trip distance covered by the truck that is from container to disposal site and disposal site to container and it falls under the category of haul distance and next one the time spent at the site so as we discussed earlier the time spent at the site as falls under the category of at site. The sum of these three categories that is at site time, haul time and pickup time. These three combined together will give us the time required for a hauled container in a round trip. There might be also another term which is called as Offsite indicated by W. This offsite time deals with out of the order activities such as traffic congestion, problem to vehicles and making them stop at the roadside, and other things such as the breaks taken by the workers during the carrying of waste, etc. These will fall under the off-site time activity. Sometimes in order to compute the time required for a hauled container per round trip will also constitute this off-site time.